Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you told me to react to Raw Some Healthy's last video called 4 Reasons Why Vegan Diets Can Fail. Let's do it! We want to discover the four main reasons why some plant-based dieters and vegans as well as raw vegans fail <laughs> on this lifestyle plan and they go back to mm. eating paleo and keto mm. diets. This is exactly what we are going to talk about mm. in our live stream today. I can't help it man, but this looks like an advertisement for Jehovah's Witness. Hi everyone, it's Paul and Yulia, <laughs> certified holistic nutritionist and lifestyle coaches at Raw Some Healthy. Yes, and it's great to see you here. We're just gonna so great to see you. Yes, yeah, it's got to be good. It's got to be right. good. So, guys, ah, uh, always this fake positivity, super positive. Guys, nobody is so positive in real life. Not even the Dalai Lama. We've got oh. a lot of uh, plant-based eaters following us. So we've been around for seven years. Yeah, you've been around for seven years, but there's not much left of you. If I look at the guy, I saw a video of those guys. I think four, five years back. The dude was substantially bigger, man. He lost all his gains. As plant-based coaches. So not plant-based, plant foods coaches and raw foods coaches. And we've worked with hundreds of people over the years. We've also witnessed some people not thrive on this lifestyle. Really? And especially when they are big in terms of social media following and they announce that they're no longer following it, it might be you know, planting doubts into your head and you might be starting to wonder mm -hmm. and question things. So today we wanted to die. You start questioning the religion of veganism. What is wrong with you? They have failed on this lifestyle plan. So uh -huh. the first reason, and this is a huge reason, is that they used diet alone to treat their gut imbalances. So a lot of people come into this lifestyle, oh yeah, this is fantastic. And you know, everyone goes out there and all the social media promoters uh, have these big smiles on their faces. I guess like us as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Diet is yeah, the at least they realize that. Are very true to our path. And this is something that people appreciate who follow us. So what does that and, mean? Um, Behind they, the scenes, you know, they're very true. So much energy, and uh, you get excited, and they share just how much they've lost weight, and they feel amazing, and they look great, and you get excited. And what happens is that a lot of them, and a lot of people generally following this lifestyle plan. Why do they keep pointing to those man-made fruits? How is that a diet? And why is every vegan so obsessed with photographing themselves or filming themselves with fruit? It doesn't even matter if they're raw vegans or regular vegans. There's always a shot with a banana in your hand, an apple, a melon and whatnot. What's the point? They fail to address their gut imbalances. So what happens? You they know, look so religious, gut man. They're not addressed. Well, when you have gut imbalances, uh, there's all sorts of things can happen. You can have, you know, skin complaints start happening, you no know, acne, and you can fatigue, have uh, fatigue, you have brain fog, bloating, lots of excess gas. Um, you know, you can have all manner of different symptoms and, um, you know, one of the thing is that... Exactly, you can have all of those symptoms if you're on a whole food, plant-based, cooked vegan diet. If you, however, choose to eat only fruit, then you do not have the bloating, you do not have the farting, so on and so forth, because in fruits you find some soluble fiber, but, however, you wither away, just like those people here. People think, oh, well, it's a diet. I've got to change my diet and if I can, you know, fix it very soon, I've just got to eat something else. And this is, this is a big problem for many, well, some people anyway. What? That's a problem for many? If that diet does not work, I'm going to eat something else. That is not a problem. That is normal. <laughs> that is logical, right? If that does not work, I eat that. But in your religion, in the church of veganism, we cannot do that. We're going to worship our bananas and have diarrhea all day. Good. But people say, well, all that fiber from food was making me feel bloated constantly. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. You need yeah. to deal with bacteria. You need fiber. Fiber is what your gut builds. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not the fiber. You need to deal with the bacteria. No, you don't. You actually don't. You can eat a steak. No worries. Nobody needs excess amounts of fiber. Name the nutrient. Let's play the vegan game. Why do you need fiber? Is it an essential nutrient? Is it an essential micro or macronutrient? Why do you need fiber? 
Is it because fiber converts to butyrate? Is it because of that? If you think the health benefit is due to butyrate, then you could eat butter. What's the point? Health on, and you just cannot build. You cannot have a healthy, <sighs> thriving gut without a diet that is high in fiber, right? So exactly, your friendly bacteria need lots of. Fiber. Exactly, yeah, that's it. Case closed. The vegan police. Why can't you have a healthy gut without fiber? Where is the argumentation? Why do you need fiber? You're not saying anything. You're just repeating yourself. But you need fiber for healthy. Why? Why do you need that? Essential amino acids, essential fatty acids, essential minerals, nutrients. Yes, you do need. Right? Makes sense. Why do you need fiber? Only because you repeat it all the time doesn't make it true. Your friendly bacteria need lots of fiber from healthy whole foods. You've got to have it. If you don't, you've <laughs> you got to have it. And then if you blame the diet, then it's just, it's not a wise thing to do because diet is yeah. not going to help you kill bacteria, bacterial overgrowth in the body, whether it's a candida. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Diet doesn't help. Diet doesn't help. Don't try another diet. It's not going to help. Don't blame veganism though. How does that make sense? Of course, candida feeds on sugar. If you eliminate sugar for a couple of weeks, you probably get rid of candida, right? In many, many cases. Why doesn't diet help with your candida overgrowth? Yeah, only in the church of veganism. H. pylori, whatever other bad you've bacteria. Got parasites as well. It's not going to get rid of those parasites. You've got to deal with you those separately. You have to deal with yeah. those things. You have to deal. Yeah, of course, you have to deal with parasites. Jesus Christ. Guys, I'm not a all nature proponent. Of course, if you have parasites, worms, whatever, go to the doctor, get medicine. Everybody understands that. This is why I'm not solely for 100% organic meat. Sometimes animals battle with worm infections. Yes, even herbivorous animals. Give them medicine. No big deal. You really expect eating bananas and you're gonna heal the parasites. Ah, uh, dogma. And that is going to be through supplementation and unfortunately for some people even antibiotics if, if, uh, if supplements yeah. and antifungals are not doing it. Yeah. So it is important to have a holistic and comprehensive approach to things. A comprehensive approach? What does that even mean? You're just slurring words. A holistic and comprehensive approach. A comprehensive approach would mean something that we can actually comprehend. Nobody comprehends why we have to eat only fruits to be healthy. It doesn't make sense. And when we work with our clients, you know, people think that, yeah, well, it's just going to be another coach who will tell me to eat so many carbs and so much protein and so much fat, uh -huh, okay. which is also very important. I'm not denying it at all. But gosh, we go deep with our clients. Gosh, yeah. I'm going to sell you my coaching program now. So we get them to do tests. We look into hmm. things. We really go deep into if something is not deep. working, we change things and we swap things. But it is natural for people to be experiencing discomfort when it is natural see how she touched the banana that's so natural no it's not natural those bananas are man-made they're not their wild equivalent it's not natural they eat fiber and when they eat whole plant foods if you have not addressed your gut imbalances you still got she just repeated fiber and cut herself off good <laughs> you have to pay attention to it before you move forward okay so what's mm. the next one the next one is deficiencies mm. and Again, right. oh, diet, well, diet, this orange will give me B12, this orange will give me vitamin D. This right. <laughs> the poor guy is so cucked, man. Oh, I feel sorry for you, bro. All these funny beliefs that people have that all of a sudden they will get absolutely everything. They don't need to worry about supplements because we live in this utopian world where our diet and produce is apparently like full of nutrients and that's just not the case. Uh, okay, so those two guys are next level vegans. We get it. So now they actually understand that the diet is deficient. So what do we do? We supplement. Yay! World where our diet and produce is apparently like full of nutrients and that's just not the case. Not yes. for everyone. For my not for everyone she tries to correct herself because there are actually people that have produce that is filled with nutrients dha epa b12 k2 d3 all in bananas what are you talking about woman experience over the years you know unfortunately you're not always going to get all the nutrients you need in whole foods um, sometimes really sometimes you'll be deficient sometimes people get deficient for various different reasons and if you do for various different reasons 
It's not that you're eating a vegan diet. It's for various different reasons on a whole food diet. Jesus Christ, man. Those guys are so brainwashed. And again, I'm not even at five minutes and I'm getting sad. I can't watch this. It's Ah, oh, it's so sad, man. Then you've got to do something about that deficiency. And if you just keep eating the diet and it doesn't work, and you think, okay, well, I've still got problems. Do I just ditch the diet and do something uh -huh. else, get another diet? No, you need to look at other aspects of your health. It's really important. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it is the diet that made me deficient, but now I'm not going to look at the diet. And uh, um, uh, what am I doing? How does that make sense, man? You say it yourself. You're eating a deficient diet. Now you need to think about dietary choices. What else is there? No, not in the religion of veganism. Now the only thing that we can do within the plant-based realm is, of course, to supplement. Ah, oh, man. Yes, exactly. And address those deficiencies. And address those deficiencies, exactly. With some supplements. Long-term vegans and raw vegans, we've worked with an incredible amount of raw and mostly <laughs> raw and high raw vegans and vegans oh. over the years. And they all think that they're, oh, my child. It's the raw I've vegans. I've been a vegan for three, five years, 10 years. Some mm. of our clients have been like 25 years. And their health was not there. Well, because something yeah. is missing and you have to identify it. You have to understand what it is. You have to identify it. What could it be? Wait a second. I'm excluding all animal foods. Something is missing. Hmm, what could it be? Hmm. And know that deficiencies can actually happen on any diet and lifestyle. So it's just knowing. <laughs> uh, yeah, they can happen on any kind of diet. Yeah, sure, if you compare it to a standard American diet. Do you really think you would be deficient if you would eat organs? Hmm? Do you really think so? If you would have organs every single day and eggs and dairy, anything animal-based, do you think you would be deficient? Identifying them and then ah. correcting them because a lot of our bodies, you know, our bodies have gone through a lot of abuse in the past. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, one of the things... Yeah, of course. It's always the abuse in the past, right? It's not veganism. No, it's the antibiotic treatment from back in the day. Things that's really important to understand is you can eat healthy whole foods, but eating a healthy whole food balanced diet is something different it can be certainly very different yeah. Yeah. So just because you're eating healthy foods uh -huh. whole foods don't think that that's automatically mean you're eating a healthy diet uh, uh, of course not because it doesn't matter that you think it's healthy actually you have to contact us and then we can tell you what is actually healthy or you can ask dr gregor and he will tell you that you need more berries in your smoothie and more flaxseed in your smoothie because you're doing it wrong it can be actually the opposite yes exactly so oh you're actually the opposite yeah okay so so what's uh if i tell you eat a steak can you actually do the opposite whilst eating steak balance things okay so so what's the uh, the next one so the next one is that you have not dealt with other underlying causes of your ill health ah uh, the underlying causes four years into a fully raw 100 percent raw vegan lifestyle i discovered that i still had high hashimoto's antibodies so yes oh it is an really lifestyle. strange it's, um, a great lifestyle for helping you <laughs> oh yeah it's an amazing lifestyle it's still a great lifestyle but yeah my thyroid is dying people need yeah. to go into an extra <laughs> deeper much deeper take mm. take few deeper levels to uh, much deeper much go much much deeper no you don't have to go much much deeper you just have to stop malnourishing yourself it is a short fasting period that's what raw veganism fruitarianism and even veganism is it is a short-term cleanse you don't have to go any deeper and to, un to understand what's causing their health issues so at that point i could have said oh no, no it just hasn't mm. worked i still got my antibodies but i understood that no no i still haven't addressed certain things and those mm. things were epstein-barr virus that i had to reverse those things mm. were gut imbalances that i had to address and certain bacteria in my gut that i had to address and deal with and people just don't realize that they could they, that there could be other issues that they have not dealt with that are causing them symptoms. And it's only the vegans with all of those bacterial issues, those digestive issues. It's always the same, man. Don't you see the pattern? And they go, oh no, this diet. Oh, it's the diet. Yeah, so it's the diet. It just doesn't work for me. This diet has not worked for me. And so oh man, they, the guy, do it. So religious. He's just sitting diet, there in his little so, pink polo. They have not addressed the root cause mm -hmm. in the first place. So really the vegan diet. Mm -hmm. well. Yes. Diet just doesn't work for me. 
this diet has not worked for me. And uh, then they, you know, go to do other diets. And uh, of course, yeah, how could they? How could they go to other diets? I don't understand this. They, they haven't addressed the root cause. The root cause, it's your body, it's your dirty flesh. You have to repent. You have to return to the church of veganism. You can be healed. You can be saved. Guys, there is no underlying issue. It's just that you're eating too much fiber, too many anti-nutrients. What is not to understand about this? Bah. Root cause in the first place. So really, you just have that depth of knowledge as well. And not you need a depth of knowledge. You need a depth of knowledge. You need to read the holy book of veganism in order to understand, to understand the complexity of this dietary regimen. Eat natural food, Jesus Christ. I was thinking it's just the diet on its own because... Yes. In the, as I said in the utopian so world, as you said earlier, if we were living in an ideal world, that would be great, but we're not. So it isn't just the diet. There are other aspects ah. that people really need to consider. <laughs> Starvation <laughs> eyes. <laughs> what is an ideal world? What is an ideal diet? You are talking about a utopia, about some sort of Garden Eden, where we're eating fruits and everything is ideal. This is the realm of earth, the realm of flesh. This is not a vegan paradise. Space that people Christ. really need to consider as well for their health. Yes, and yes. also there are a lot of things that you need to look into. You know, you need to look into your relationships. Uh -huh. relationships. <laughs> you need to look into your uh, so many things and traumas, past, past traumas, traumas. experience. It's all part of your part healing, of your and healing. restoration. Yes, diet is the base. It's that platform. But if you have not addressed other issues then you will continue struggling and then you will need to... How are those points, those reasons independent from each other? It's always the same shit, man. You're talking about not leaving veganism. You're talking about their underlying gut issues. You're talking about that it's everything but your diet. Pay attention to those things. And uh, last but not least is uh -huh. focus. And it's focus. focus. So you see, if you, <laughs> happen, you say the next 90 days are going to be right, running 5k every single mm. day, you make, you, know, you make this your priority, you find time for it, you do it for 90 mm. days and then you lose focus. And then it just gets diluted and you forget about running 5Ks and you're doing something else. And Exactly, because veganism, again, is the only diet on which you have to focus on. Focus on the diet. Guys, this is not a bodybuilding competition. If it would be a bodybuilding competition, I would understand. You have to focus. This should be fun. This should be for normal people. A regular dietary intervention, which anybody could follow, right? A healthy way of eating. Why would you have to focus to eat eggs for breakfast, a steak for dinner? Nobody has to focus on that shit. Two years down the road and you just realize, I have not run for two years because you just, your focus got diluted, which really means that your priorities were not in the right place to begin with. What are the priorities? To starve myself, to be malnourished, to save arbitrary animals, which are not to destroy the environment through veganism? What is the focus? So I would encourage you to go deep within to understand yourself. Deep, understand deep. The priorities. For us personally, this is the lifestyle choice. We've been doing it for 10 years. And uh, this is... Yeah, you certainly look like it. Because we've got intellectual understanding that this is the best plan. And why, why is it the best plan? Gosh, for so many reasons, where do we start? <laughs> where do we start? Because it's full of great nutrients, you know, vitamins, great minerals, to... phytonutrients, antioxidants. Fiber. Healthy Fiber. Fats, whole food. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is the best plan because it's filled with nutrients. Okay, liver is filled with all the nutrients that you could possibly need. Fiber, as I said, nobody needs it. Why do you smile? It's so cringy. Fiber. <laughs> is that oh. antioxidants? Fiber. Healthy fats, whole food fats from a whole foods, not in an extracted processed foods at all. Okay, no extract foods, but you need to supplement. So you debunk yourself. It's got lots of fiber in there. Fiber? Gosh, uh, the endless reasons, really. And obviously, you're not. Gosh, yeah, gosh, endless reasons. Um, uh, fiber? Endless reasons. Re uh, fiber? Maybe uh, fiber. Some foods that are going to cause you ill health. So we're not inflammation. eating. Inflammation. Exactly. Animal products which have been shown to cause inflammation in your kidney. Has been shown? Yeah, please show me. Where do we see that animal foods lead to inflammation? Do you have a study? I'm going to play the vegan card. Do you have a study on carnivore diets? Only animal foods. Can you show me that they cause inflammation? To cause inflammation in your kidneys. Kidneys. Um, with the protein. Protein. To uh, yeah. plant foods. Sure. We're talking about uh, cardiovascular yeah. disease. How? You know, 
people getting strokes, sure. heart attacks. Because those people have been eating carnivore diets, right? It's not because of the excess sugar. No. So many different reasons, um, valid reasons, scientific valid. reasons as well. There's a lot valid reasons, scientific reasons. If you don't believe me, I'm just going to say scientific reasons. The science out there showing us that science. You know, this really is the best way to go. Eating this sort of healthy diet. The chick is going to get a cram, yeah, man. And you know. well. uh, TMAO, TMA, TMAO. That's yeah. something you can look up. And that's another subject area on its yeah, own. Exactly. Uh, because yeah, when up. you eat a whole plant foods diet, vegan, the bacteria that creates this uh, vegan. This compound in your body, which is then produced as a toxin by your liver, huh. doesn't get produced if you eat it, you know, consistently. But if you eat an omnivore diet, then this uh, compound does start getting produced. And it's sorry, man, you lost me. What? Not good for your hormones. Heart, heart, hormones. Heart, heart, you know, cardiovascular disease in your heart. Heart. Yeah, hormones. it's just not good at all. So Blood sugar levels. These are just some of the reasons. Sugar. So Blood sugar levels. Yeah, sure. As a fruitarian, you're going to tell me something about blood sugar levels. There's so many reasons. Apart from that, obviously, there's the ethical <laughs> what? reasons as well. You know, the animals. Exactly. We don't have... uh, exactly. Yeah, the ethical reasons. Now, they're only the ethical reasons. All the rest is complete dog shit. We hurt in animals. We ought to be protecting the environment. There's the aspect. Yeah, but you're not protecting animals or the environment. Check out Ask a Farmer. Of ourselves, our own health first. We've got to look after our own health first. Then, we can then you would be people. eating meat. Coach other people. We want to be a role model to our little daughter. So she grows up eating healthily and understanding that, you know, this is the way to go. We don't want to be hurting animals. We don't want to have an you know, have a little impact on the environment as it is anyway, as much as we possibly can. So there are many different reasons. And for us, these are hugely important. Mm -hmm. Hugely important. So they're like a foundation stone, aren't they, for us? When it comes Ever heard of sustainable agriculture? To priorities in no? our life. Yeah, so it's just to keep in that focus and reminding yourself why you're doing it in the first place. And again, <sighs> looking for other reasons. Okay, so maybe I have not as yet addressed certain root causes of my ill health. Oh, yeah. Repeat yourself, please. I didn't get the point. Root causes. Underlying issues. Of your health. And, you know, if, uh, if you've been following us for a while, you know that I make a lot of videos about gut health, about overcoming candida and SIBO and gut imbalances and fixing your gut health. And of course, you make videos about this because you're vegan. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to. Overcoming leaky gut and autoimmune diseases because I've been through my own ups and downs. And even on this lifestyle with Hashimoto's. And even with on this lifestyle, no way. By virus and parasite infection and gut issues. And it's something. <laughs> yeah, of course, you have, have a lot of experience in it. Experience You're in vegan. And I've actually coached. You know, countless clients on getting healthy after mm. years of struggle and even on this line. Even on this. So things can change mm. and things can change when you have the right plan to follow. It's, it's the, 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 the blame this diet and think, okay, well, it's, if you want. Oh, whatever, to I'm just going to put in some words for you to not understand issues, problems, underlying. Things that you can do in order to move forward. So this is what yeah. we wanted Definitely. to share Give me a smile. with you today. And I would Give love to hear from you. Post yes. your comments in the Please comment do. section. What are your thoughts on this? So everything we'll that we've everybody. talked about, do you think that some of the long-term vegans, raw vegans, uh, plant-based eaters who fail on this lifestyle actually fail to address certain causes of, or, or many causes of their ill health. So or, they're, or they're not aware of these other aspects of their yes. health. This yeah. is why they, you know, fall off. And Yeah, it's not that they do it on purpose, obviously, no. but they just, they have not got that awareness, which yes. you need to develop. So yes, let us know. In the okay, comments. stop. So they need to develop that awareness or because they can't, because they just simply cannot do it. They need to contact us. Contact us and we're going to help you out. We shining examples of health. We're going to help you out. Oh, guys, that was hard to watch, man. It's always the same, isn't it? It's always the vegans just absolutely suffering and trying to fix others. Fix yourself first. Have a steak, man. Have some scrambled eggs. Eat something. Start with fish. Some sashimi if you have to. Look at those fake smiles. Are those people, man? You look like Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, anyways, guys, video is long enough. As always, let me know in the comment section which vegan video I should react to next. If you like this one, leave it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, much love and peace.